everyone. In this video, we're taking a look at the CO2 small diaphragm condenser microphone pair from Samson Audio. So first off, I'm using both microphones in this video's voiceover. I've got the first microphone here pointed directly at my mouth, the way you would normally speak into a microphone, whereas the other microphone is slightly out of frame of this main camera to give you an idea of how it will sound if you keep the microphone out of the picture. And I'll switch between both positions throughout this voiceover. So at first glance, these mics really impressed me. They definitely have a solid construction and a very familiar design. I'm using a pop filter for the voiceover, but the pop filter will be removed in all other audio examples. They also have really nice narrow clips, which fit a couple of my other microphones. I've been wanting a pair of small diaphragm condensers for my studio for quite some time, and these have been holding up quite well. These microphones work great to bring out the fine details of stringed instruments like mandolin and guitar. Here's a clip of mandolin with a CO2 in front of the instrument and another CO2 pointing into the fireplace acting as a room mic. This performance is from the song Are You Listening by Lexine. The stereo pair makes it really handy in the studio. I mean, there's so many uses for a matched pair of microphones. I'm a big fan of the spaced pair technique, especially on things like drums and acoustic guitar. So let's check out acoustic guitar with two microphones about eight inches away, one pointing directly at the 12th fret and the other pointing directly at the bridge. These microphones are described as super cardioid, which means that they have a more narrow polar pattern than your traditional cardioid. This allows you to focus in on the fine details of an instrument, like the high frequencies, which small diaphragm condensers excel at. And the narrow pickup pattern of the super cardioid may help to provide some off access rejection. So let's have a listen to how these work on drums. I tried out the CO2 as the top and bottom mics on a snare drum, and while these mics are fairly sensitive due to them being condensers, I found that they did actually hold up quite well next to the loud snare drum. Now, that being said, I did have to use the pad and they required no gain to get a healthy signal, but they didn't clip. Here's a clip of both snare microphones and then in with a drum mix. This clip is from the song Naked Thoughts by Lexine. So the snare bottom mic actually turned out really clean despite it being right next to the kick beater, whereas the snare top could likely be improved by positioning it under the hi-hat and taking advantage of that narrow super cardioid pattern. But on this session I ran out of short stands and I needed to improvise. Now let's hear the Samson CO2 as drum overheads. We're going to hear them on their own and then in with a kick mic, for that we're using an advanced audio CM49.
also let me know in the comments what you thought of the CO2s. You know, I was pleasantly surprised. I got to use them on some real recording sessions and I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. Even when I had more expensive mics to reach for, you know, I, I felt that they really held up and held their own. These would be a great addition to anyone who wants to expand their mic collection and experiment with stereo mic techniques. Well done, great product, Samson. So thank you for watching this video. I know I've been away, but there is lots more to come. Thank you to Lexine for allowing me to use clips from her recording sessions. And thanks to Zach Gabriel for flying in from Toronto to play drums on this record. Yo, you think you're gonna comp my takes? Who the f you think you are? What I play is what's on the record. The album is called Misadventures in Love. The artist is Lexine, and it's going to be coming out February of 2023. So I'm really excited to share the making of with all of you. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I wouldn't blame you if you walk away. I couldn't hate you if you don't feel the same